the minute he stepped on, losing him, those guys are going to have to step it up this year. 14 points a game combined for those two last year. And tonight, Northern Illinois a little bit shorthanded. Big three guys in Tyler Cochran, who's out tonight for COVID tracing. And for Pitt tonight, you see the starting five, Ithiel Horton, Xavier Johnson, Audis Tony, Justin Champagny, and Kareem Koulibaly, who got his first start of his career. A long day for them, getting up early and traveling, having to get here today and play a game. Got to tighten up the turnovers. Koulibaly, second basket of the game for the Panthers. I think it just carried over for the rest of that game. Yeah, that was the big deal for them. Xavier Johnson getting back on track. Justin Champagny getting back on track. And that guy. We spent a lot of time talking about Xavier Johnson and Justin Champagny, but it's been all D so far in these first two games, at least, who's been getting it done on the offense end. Good inside look and a lay-in from Queth. Here comes Hankerson. Deep three from Hankerson. Wow, he can step outside and hit and ties the game. Surprise that we see Northern Illinois going to a 3-2 early here. Yeah, I think just getting them to set, settle for shots like that, open shots. I mean, they're good shots, but the, the best attribute for this team is attacking the basket. Tenth season with Northern Illinois, previously an assistant under Tom Izzo for 10 years. Talk about two understudies in Mark Montgomery and Jeff Cable learning from two of the best to ever do it in Coach K and Tom Izzo. Golden State Warriors changed everything forever for now. <laughs> At least for now, for until now. the next shot come around. Then we'll see what happens. And so far we've seen a couple deep threes, and this thing doesn't look like it's a lot of defense going on right now. A lot of deep shooting. <laughs> that might be today's game. I loved what Mark Montgomery said to us this week about defense. He said, it's non-debatable. It's non-negotiable. If you're going to play basketball at a high level, you have to be engaged on that end of the floor. Champagny wide open from the top of the key, nails it. And three guys that can put it on the floor and create their own shot is going to be tough for any team to stop. Good cross and great dish inside. Peter at that particular position that can get the job done. Xavier steps into one, nails it again. It's just drastically different from a shooting standpoint than they were in game one. I think Coach Capel might have been on to something. He said as practice went on, they were starting to shoot the ball poorly, like they were getting tight and nervous. Did it in a big way, big way against Drexel. Way behind. First time a loss in an opening day in a peak. Take the lid off the basket. You know, when, when, when you start making the shots, you start falling in love with that jump shot, as Xavier shows his athletic ability right there. Looking like an old number one. <laughs> <laughs> the Panthers. Johnson looking to push again. To the left side with the right hand falling away. Beautiful shot. Northern Illinois has not scored in a couple of minutes. Turn around, try, good. Decent baby hook from the baseline. Five point lead for Pitt. Inside, Champagny laying it in. Defense leads to offense. It's the best way to do it. Horton wide open from three. Again, this time he finds it. Transition, you can get out like you see right there. You gotta make that bunny. It's a great look from Horton. Tony just couldn't finish. Now coming down the other end, this game's starting to open up a little bit. Trying to rebound from a 20-point loss to SIU Edwardsville this past week. Champagny, the O rebound, puts it back. Largest lead of the game at 10. Nice elbow jumper, stop and pop. Can't find it. Near travel violation. Hankerson wants to try again. This time he finds the net. Something you got to talk about. You got to talk about it every game. Yeah, the well, youth for this guy. He's, he could still be in high school right now. He could. Getting buckets. Still in the first half of Champagny with 12 and 7 with a couple assists to go along with it. It was a wild shot on the other end by McCoy. So Johnson trying a three, hitting it once again. All been Classes there. are over. You see last year, Pitt ended the game on a 15-0 run. NIU, they led by six with six and a half to go in that game. Opening half. And this Saturday night on the ACC Network, non-conference basketball. Hankerson, nice kiss off the glass. He had space. I think he thought about pulling it there. He's looking inside. Koulibaly, beautiful pass from Johnson, using the rim to his advantage. It's Kareem Koulibaly. Hardy's playing on the defensive end. You know, the best way to keep him engaged that way is to feed him on the other side. 
Let him get a bucket. A great hedge trap from Koulibaly. Now it ends up in the hands of Bean, who knocks it down. Johnson pushing. Here's Horton wide open in the corner, and he's got it. All three of them for Horton. You got to run that floor a little faster, though, my man. Come on. Horton's Get starting to feel it. Beach. Certainly a much better shooting night from three than Pitt was used to last year here happening tonight. 11 threes for Pitt. And Horton himself has four of them. And there he is again. We're going to do this more during their conference season, so yeah. what better way to, to learn than to actually do it? Hughley trying to step outside. Look at that from the big fella. Good pass out to the outside for Crump. Misses a second consecutive three. Batted around. Comes down. Crump to the other side. Ball reversal. Into the middle. Thornton. Good dish. Nice, nice pass. See Hughley with the missed layup. And Thornton stutter step. Nice hesitation dribble. Baseline drive and drag. Three ball for Bean. Easily. Starting to make people hungry now. I'm getting myself hungry. Look at that from Tony. Great inside position and one. Yeah, don't look at the scoreboard. Even if you're down, you want to just keep building, getting good possessions. Jeffress in transition. Champagne knocking it down. 20 points for Justin Champagne. I like the poise. Staying aggressive, penetrating. Terrell Brown stepping outside. Champagne with authority. Champagne. Throw it down, big fella. Throw it down. Back when he was hired here, how did that happen? Uh, and I think it was something along the lines of like, you know, Jason knew that Jeff went to Duke and he was like, well, I'm gonna do the opposite of whatever you did. <laughs> There's no step away and let my assistants run things. He is directly engaged with these guys at all times. Have to be. And with his coaching style, it makes sense. Bean with a three. Smile for the camera. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, that one thing we do know now. Wow, look at that. Anya Bucci. A Christmas gift right there. Absolutely. I have a, a, a lot of things that probably should be in a frame that, you know, as a young kid. That was a good dish from Odu Cali to Drum Ghoul on the break. And that's Hankerson with a three. Gonna need them to consistently um, give you scoring production. And I'm sure we're having four guys be able to, to, to deliver that. It shouldn't be helping them figure it out. When no matter who wins, they have to run with everybody for punishment. So um, to finally get in here and get some minutes, you know, go out there and have fun. Coaches bump fists at center court. And it's a 30-point win for the Pitt Panthers. Northern Illinois goes home packing 0-3 on the year.